Welcome to Hashtag Artsy Second Sunday, hosted by I Love to Paint Ayala Art Channel. Go visit the other amazing artists in this video hop listed below in the description box after you're done watching this video. One of the themes this month in this hop is Frida Kahlo. Her birthday is this month on July 6th. She is one of the most famous Mexican artists who lived 1907 to 1954. Stay tuned to learn some very interesting and little known facts about her life. And watch me as I paint a picture, a painting of her while chatting. So one of the aspects that I'd like to highlight in this video and in the portrait I'm going to paint of her is her love for her pets. She had quite a menagerie of exotic pets, which included a spider monkeys, deer, a fawn, eagle, sparrows, chickens. And here's a very unusual picture of her with her fur babies. And uh, these hairless dogs with ancient Aztec lineage parakeets, macaws. I believe that through in the face of all her pain and struggles, she received much solace and comfort through her pets. And I would just like to highlight that aspect of her life. So here are 10 things you may not know about Frida Kahlo in honor of her birthday. In 1907, one of Mexico's most famous painters graced us with her presence. Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, paving the way for female artists, eccentrics, and creatives with her unapologetic nature and incredibly personal paintings. From her tumultuous relationship with Diego Rivera to her honesty surrounding her lifelong battle with chronic pain, Frida changed the way we relate to art. There, was never, there has never been anyone like her and not just because she rocked one of the best unibrows of all time. With her infectious and persistent spirit, Frida is a perfect example of bravery in the face of adversity. To celebrate this icon's birthday, um, here are 10 facts you may not know about her. One, Frida was in an accident at age 18 and it changed her life forever. When Frida Kahlo was 18, she was in a horrible bus accident. A collision with a train caused a handrail to puncture through her, through her torso. According to her boyfriend at that time, who was with her at the time of the accident, the incident actually unfastened all of Frida's clothing, leaving her naked. Someone on the bus had been carving powdered gold, which fell all over Frida, leaving her covered in gold and blood. Because of this accident, she suffered multiple miscarriages, chronic pain, and 32 surgeries. Two, Frida's accident is what inspired her to start painting. Uh, because she had to be bedridden for almost a year or so after the accident, uh, out of boredom, and just because she didn't, she, um, she didn't want to be overcome by her circumstances, she decided to um, make the most of her circumstances and to start painting. And she started painting on her body casts. Three, she had a special easel she used to paint in bed. Since Frida was bedridden, bedridden after her accident, her mother made her a special easel that allowed her to paint in bed. This served her on and off for the rest of her life. Four, much of Frida's inspiration came from her pain. Frida painted about her pain probably as a way to um, cope and learn from the hardships she was dealing with. Paintings like the broken column, and the, the wounded deer expressed the artist's struggle with chronic pain and her broken spine and the effort that comes with recovering 
that comes with receiving medical treatments that don't always work. Although much of Frida's work is self-portraits, a lot of it is centered around her illnesses and struggles. Five, she once arrived in one of, to one of her exhibitions in an ambulance. Um, a, she was in the hospital at the time, and the hospital really advised against her attending. It was, it was the opening reception for uh, one of her most important solo shows in Mexico, and they really advised against her attending the show. But uh, she was stubborn and persistent enough that instead of arriving to the, the, the show in a limo, she arrived in an ambulance. And they actually took her gurney in and took her on her gurney into the, the opening reception. Six. Um, Frida never had children. Frida suffered many miscarriages during her life, most likely because of the accident she had been in when she was 18. She grieved for the children that she lost, painting a piece called Henry Ford Hospital, which dealt with the sadness she was experiencing. The piece would be displayed in a gallery six years later. Seven, but she did have plenty of weird and wonderful fur babies. Not only did Frida have a few of the hairless Mexican dogs that had um, Aztec lineage, but um, like I mentioned earlier, she had a couple pet spider monkeys, a parrot, a fawn, and an eagle, chickens, macaws, parrots. Eight, she died at the house that she was born in. And nine, over one third of her paintings were self-portraits. Of Frida's 143 paintings, 54 55 were self-portraits. Her struggles, life experiences, and relationship with her husband are common motifs in Frida's work. She completed over 200 paintings, sketches, and drawings in her lifetime. And 10, Frida was a communist. Frida painted the Communist Party of Mexico in 1928 after Diego Rivera painted a communist mural for the Ministry for Public Education with Frida as the center of the as the center of it. Even though Frida was born in July, on July 6th, she insisted she insisted she was born July 7th, 1910 to be her birthday to mirror the Mexican Revolution. In diary pages dated from 1950 to 51, Frida says how she wanted to create paintings that would be helpful to the communist revolutionary movement. She wanted to contribute in any positive way she could, despite her health or, or as health allowed her to contribute, because she felt this was the true reason to live. And... I just want to say, um, happy birthday, Frida. We will always be thinking about your soul, bravery, and art.